There was no evidence that a black man had committed this crime. But that didn't matter because the story was one that confirmed and exposed the beliefs that so many shared, from residents and reporters to officers and officials. At every level and at every opportunity, those in power closed their eyes to the truth because the lie felt familiar. They saw the story they wanted to see. I will have these and um, want to present them officially as an official letter of apology wow. to Mr. Okay. Willie Bennett. Thank you. Okay. And to Mr. Alan Swanson. I represented Ellen Swanson 34 years ago. I never expected this day. I saw the trauma that he went through. I saw the fear that he had to live through. The death threats, not just to him, but to me and to the Roxbury defenders. Of all people, Billy Dunn, said that he watched my car so no one would put a bomb in it. Bruh. Went down to Child Street Jail, the old Child Street Jail, where they held him separate from everyone else. Because if they put him in general population, accused baby killer, woman killer, he'd have been dead. They spat in his food. They beat on his cell door. He lived in terror. Mm. 